What is up guys, it's Miki and welcome to yet another Night Vember episode. I know we are far from November but life is a bitch and who gives a f anyways. Plus December still ends in amber, so let's get it on. Protecting your night vision goggle is a two part deal. First we need to find a solid clear protection for the glass. Sure, night vision goggles often come with sacrificial lenses, just forget them. They are quite delicate and definitely won't last serious seats, risking damaging badly your device in case of such fatalities. I feel what works best is a 3mm thick clear Lexan shell. Lexan is a virtually unbreakable polycarbonate which can be found in sheets or in different laser cut shapes and sizes. You can buy a whole Lexan sheet and DIY the cut or look up for the final product. Just measure up your MVG focus ring and choose an appropriate size. Both solutions can be found at higher end hardware stores or simply online. For my PVS14 I bought a 3mm thick by 20mm in diameter Lexan shell, which happens to be the same size of a contour action camera lens protection, which might be easier to find and often made with the same polycarbonate material. Don't worry about the lens protection downgrading your quality of sight, I've made some tests and couldn't tell the difference with the lens protection on and off. Lexan is pretty cheap as well, so it's easily replaceable if it gets scratched or lost. Alright guys, there you have it, but how can we keep the Lexan shell firmly in place? That's part 2 of our deal, and for that we're gonna need a scope lens cap, such as the Butler Creek scope caps. Now, you should do your research and get a scope cap that fits snugly the front part of your MVG. Just look up for the scope cap internal diameter and compare it to your MVG front part size. Having a PVS14, I know the Butler Creek 09, 09A, scope and 07 objective sizes fit well. In some cases you might need to add some layers of adhesive tape to make more friction in order to nail the focus pull by rotating the scope cap instead of the focus ring from then on. When you have both these parts, simply put the Lexan shell inside the scope cap. If the scope cap fits snugly enough, then the Lexan shell won't move at all. This is a very practical and cheap solution to protect your MVG fine glass. But wait, there's one more thing you can do with your scope cap, and that's the focus trick. The MVG focus trick is great for guys moving, shooting and doing whatever at night in dynamic situations, when distances from targets, intel and points of interest might vary a lot and frequently. If you ever use knots in such situations, you know what I'm talking about. Just like a manual focusing camera, night vision goggles require a focus pull to get clear images at different distances, but constantly adjusting the focus when all over the place shouldn't be the focus. Yeah, that was pretty lame, now let's make our point. Basically by drilling a hole in the center of the scope cap and closing it over the NVG, when using the device we'll get a ok focus for all around distances and close viewing as well. The hole should be between 5 to 8 mm wide. The larger the hole, the more blurred your near images will be with the MVG focused at distance. This also depends on biological differences, so start with 5mm and work your way up if necessary. You can even make more than one cap with different hole sizes for different purposes. You can easily drill the hole with a tool or even with a 5.56 or 7.62 bullet if you are an absolute savage. When you're done being so savage, you'll find that by using the nod with such mod, anything from arm length out will be quite sharp with the MVG focused at distance, and you can still make fine adjustments when absolute clear images are required. Pretty cool, huh? but how is this all working? Well, basically by lowering the lens aperture, the image has a deeper and larger depth of field, increasing the front to back focus range but at the same time with a narrow aperture less photons are entering the MCP, so you're basically losing exposure, and you'll most likely need to boost up your device gain to mitigate this negative effect, or bring down the landscape just when there's plenty of ambient light around. Every benefit has its price, so see for yourself if and when to apply this mod, which by the way is always just one click away. 
Some companies even make these focus caps already, such as the Pocus Uplight Focusing Cover with Aperture Control or the awesome Steiner Refocus Lens, which is kind of a different technology and improved concept. As the title says, it's a clear refocusing lens which changes the focus on the device without cutting any light to the MCP. So you can choose at any time a couple of focus ranges ready to go. Alright guys, I hope you had some fun and I'll put some links in the description below for the Lexan shells, the scope and focus caps. Thanks a lot for watching and let me know in the comments below your best NVG tips and tricks. I'll see you guys whenever, but until then, take care, own the night and stay safe out there.